Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today is another book haul because who doesn't love a book haul? One, two, three, let's go! Before we get into all the books I got, please make sure to subscribe, give it a thumbs up and comment down below because it really helps me out. So, the accidental theme of this video is sort of became book haul trilogies. I didn't plan it that way, it just ended up that way and I'm going with it because it's fun and you know trilogies it's March, March is the third month of the year. <laughs> Let's just roll with it. We have the Caraval series by Stephanie Garber. Let's see Caraval, Legendary and Finale. Scarlet Dragnet has never left the tiny island where she and her sister Tella live with a powerful and cruel father. Now Scarlet's father has arranged a marriage for her and Scarlet thinks her dreams of seeing Caraval, the faraway once a year performance where the audience participates in the show, are over. But this year Scarlet's long dreamt of invitation finally arrives. With the help of a mysterious sailor, Tella whisks Scarlet away to the show. Only, as soon as they arrive, Tella is kidnapped by Caraval's mastermind organiser, Legend. It turns out that this season's Caraval revolves around Tella, and whoever finds her first is the winner. Scarlet has been told that everything that happens during Caraval is only an elaborate performance. Nevertheless, she becomes enmeshed in a game of love, heartbreak and magic. And whether Caraval is real or not, Scala must find Teller before the five nights of the game are over or a dangerous domino effect of consequences will be set off and her beloved sister will disappear forever. I mean, yeah. <laughs> so I'm very excited to read these. So I also got the Girl Online trilogy by Sari Sag. So we have Girl Online, Girl Online on tour and Girl Online Going Solo. Under the alias Girl Online, Penny blogs her hidden feelings about friendship, boys, a crazy family and the panic attacks that have begun to take over her life. When things go from bad to worse, her family whisks her away to New York where she meets Noah, a gorgeous guitar strumming American. Suddenly Penny is falling in love and capturing every moment of it on her blog. But Noah has a secret too. One that threatens to ruin Penny's cover and her closest friendships forever. So sticking with the teen theme, I have Page Tune's Jesse Jefferson series, which is like the teen spin-off of uh, Johnny B. Good, which is her adult novel. That seems so weird to say. The Accidental Life of Jesse Jefferson, I Knew You Were Trouble, and All About the Hype. So since these come after, oh, which were they now? So since these come after, if I remember correctly, Johnny Be Good and then Baby Be Mine. Don't come at me. I'm. It's just from the top of my head. Uh, and since these come after them, and I haven't got them and haven't read them yet, I won't be reading these quite yet. Uh, but, you know, grow my page tune collection. And we have the Legend series by Marie Lu. So we have Legend, Prodigy, and Champion. And we also have a little, I think it's like a companion novella type of thing. Uh, the Life Before Legend, which I'm not sure if it's one story or more than one story, uh, but it's one of the you know, in between novellas. So, technically, this series, uh, I think there's a fourth book in it, but um, we're counting it as a trilogy for now. Once known as the western coast of the United States, the Republic is now a nation perpetually at war with its neighbours, the colonies. Born into an elite family in one of the Republic's wealthiest districts, 15-year-old June is a military prodigy. 
Obedient, passionate and committed to her country, she is being groomed for success in the Republic's high circles. Born into the slums of the Republic's lake sector, 15-year-old Day is the country's most wanted criminal, but its motives may not be as malicious as they seem. From very different worlds, June and Day have no reason to cross paths until the day June's brother Matthias is murdered and Day becomes the prime suspect. Now caught in the ultimate game of cat and mouse, Day is in the race for his family's survival while June tries desperately to avenge Matthias' death. But in a shocking turn of events, the two uncover the truth of what has really brought them together and the sinister lengths to which the country will go to keep its secrets. Suspense. So I've been wanting to read this series for quite a while and I'm very happy to finally have it in my hands. So this next series is technically part of a whole universe, um, which I am not going to attempt to pronounce, but yeah. So I believe this trilogy is like the first part, uh, but I do think you can read them in like any order. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't. I, I don't. <laughs> I'm really not sure. As I haven't read them myself, I don't know what they're about or anything of the sort. Um, but yeah, so it's so it's the Shadow and Bone trilogy by Lee Bardugo, and in it we have Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, and Ruin and Rising, Orphan and Expendable. Alina Starkov is a soldier who knows she may not survive her first trek across the Shadowfold. A swath of unnatural darkness crawling with monsters. But when her regiment is attacked, Alina unleashes dormant magic not even she knew she possessed. Now Alina will enter a lavish world of royalty and intrigue as she trains with the Grisha. Her country's magical military elite and falls under the spell of their notorious leader, the Darkling. He believes Alina can summon a force capable of destroying the Shadowfold and reuniting their war-ravaged country, but only if she can master her untamed gift. As the threat to the kingdom mounts and Alina unlocks the secret of her past, she will make a dangerous discovery that could threaten all she loves and the very future of a nation. Intriguing. And I do... I really like these covers. I mean, they are gorgeous. Very exciting. And lastly, um, it's just the two books, but they are book number two and three, and I already have the first one, so it's like continuation. But we are going to count it as our trilogy extravaganza is that what we're doing i don't know so it's the it's the it's so it's gemina and obsidio by amy kaufman and jay christoph and i haven't read the first book yet but uh i will soon where is it don't know where it is. So the first book in the series is called Illuminae and it was part of my Christmas book haul. <laughs> the year is 2575 and two mega corporations are at war over a planet that's little more than an ice covered speck. Too bad nobody thought to warn the people living on it. With enemy fire raining down on them, Ezra and Katie have to make their escape on the evacuating fleet. But their troubles are just beginning. A deadly plague has broken out on one of the spaceships and it is mutating with terrifying results. The ship's protection is seriously flawed. No one will say what's going on. As Katie hacks into a tangled web of data to find the truth, it's clear only one person can help her. Ezra. And the only problem with that is they split up before all this trouble started and she isn't supposed to be talking to him. So I'm not sure if it's pronounced Katie or Katie. Uh, it's spelled K-A-D-Y. And 
I'm just guessing, but that's not really important, is it? I am super excited to guess into all of these books, uh, some of which I have been wanting to read for quite some time. So it's, uh, well, yeah, it's exciting. And I love new books. And I'm guessing if you're watching this, you love books too. So come join the party. So that's all for me today. Comment down below if you own any of these series yourself or if you've read them or if you're planning to get them sometime in the future. Who knows? Um, I would love to know. Do we have the same kind of book taste? And please make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you again next time for another video. Take care. Bye.